Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Welcome to another video everybody. I decided, well I needed to film a video for Sunday anyway, so I decided to just pick up the camera, just start filming, I'm gonna get ready and I might film another video because obviously I was supposed, basically I'm filming me getting ready to film but if I film that then I don't need to film so I'm just getting ready for the day. Um, I am in such a good mood today because the sun is out, literally it's not even like sunny, it's like warm. Um, I've literally got my I don't know if you can see it. My go-to favourite play suit that I always used to wear literally last summer. It just reminds me of the first lockdown. Um, so I've got it back out. It's not like really, really warm. It's definitely warm enough to have a play suit on. And to be honest, I'm not going anywhere. Obviously, we're still in lockdown. So yeah, so I'm going to just turn my straighteners on because I am just going to go over the ends of my hair. My hair is not too bad in terms of like how straight it is. It's generally quite straight. It's just the ends can get a bit frizzy. Um, but I've tried... I've I've dried it already. I'm just going to be in the best mood today. Like, I can already see it. Ah! Even though I'm a bit tired, I didn't have the greatest sleep. I had an alarm on. I like to just set an alarm every morning, even though I'm not going anywhere, just to get up, get in a routine, you know? Um, especially now I've got a date for going back to work. Obviously, the last video I uploaded, I said I didn't have a date, but that was before Big Boss's announcement. So, now I have a date, um, which I think is the 12th of April. But I haven't actually had an email from work yet, so I'm a bit confused. I'm probably going to end up going back to work. Obviously, it'll be before that so we can like get the shop ready and that, but which is actually scary because that means it's like soon, which means I've only got like the next month to film loads. And yeah, that's why I think I want to start pre filming now because um, even though I don't like to pre film too far in advance, but honestly, I think I need to. Like, maybe if I just pre film a couple of videos every week, like videos that are generic though, so not like vlogs where it's like i'd vlog it and then i wouldn't upload it for another four weeks it's like generic videos that i've got um which it wouldn't matter when i posted it so i'm gonna have to start doing that because obviously when i go back to work i tend not to have that much time to film like i'm gonna try and all squeeze it all in on a morning and then edit ow and then edit it on at like a night when i come home because i do a two till six shift so it's just like bang in the afternoon like if I could do a morning shift and get out of the way, I would. And then just like be productive for the rest of the day. But I can't, so I'm just going to have to work with what I've got, you know. I think I'm the only person as well that literally hasn't booked any tickets for festivals. I've booked holidays, but like I already had two holidays booked. No. So I'm supposed to be going to a beta in May. I just don't feel like, like I really, really, really want to go. Because I was supposed to go last year and I got cancelled because of COVID. Um, so I'm really, that is the one one the one one is the one holiday that i'm really hoping to go on um and then i've got my friend's hen do in july in maga again really hoping i can go on that one because that one's already been booked and um, we booked that to go this year because we thought everything would be okay she's actually getting married in november as well so um we kind of need to do it now and then me and my friend charlotte who obviously i went to zanti with we've actually booked zanti again but we haven't like booked a full week we're doing the zanti weekender so it's a bit like a beta weekender like with the interviews and stuff but it's for june 3rd to the 7th so it's a bit risky of whether we'll be able to go or not and um, we have high hopes but not really i don't know like it's a bit weird and um, like we really really want to have high hopes but i'm not really sure i don't want to get too excited for it like the days for zanti it's basically we're only going for four days and um, but i do actually want to look i'm waiting for an email to basically decide my fate this summer Um, basically i'll just I haven't really been able to talk about it because I didn't want to like put any pressure on getting it. Um, but I'm still waiting back for the final email because obviously the recruitment process has been slowed down because of COVID and stuff. But I did actually reply to be a rep um, over the summer. So I'm still waiting back for that. Um, obviously I didn't want to mention anything when I was going through the process because I didn't want to one jinx anything, two put any pressure on it, three like, you know, but I was really excited for it. Um, I did actually, I, I have got past every other stage up until now and the last stage would have been the like recruitment day but obviously because of Covid they can't do it um, so I'm not really sure what's happening um, it's on hold for a minute but it's it's not their fault, it's no one's fault like no one can predict what Covid's going to bring it's just a really annoying situation because because I don't know whether I'm going to be working away or not um, 
I don't want to book anything else because what happens if I end up getting the job? And I mean, I really, really love to get the job, but it's kind of a sticky situation. Like it's a win-win either way. So if I, I do get the job and they are recruiting this year, then I've got the job, if that makes sense. But if I don't get the job, like they're not recruiting this year, then the, I can still, it means I can still have a good summer. So either way, I'm going to have a good summer. I can't describe what I mean. I know what I mean. I really don't think Ibiza's going to be on as much as I really, really want it to. It's May and it's a bit risky. The thing with the social distancing doesn't end until June. Um, so I really don't think that's going to be a thing. <sighs> I really hate saying that. I think Zanti's going to get moved. Um, MAGA in July might just be okay. Um, fingers crossed, I'm going to print. Because last yeah, when me and Charlotte went to Zanti, we went like the first week in September and it was completely fine. Like we had to wear masks and we had to sit at the table and stuff, but I really want to go this year because there's, well, I don't know what Greece's rules are, but there's no social distancing after the 21st of June, or at least that's the date we're going for. This summer's just going to hit different and I'm just a bit stuck because like, basically just to summarise what I've just said, it's going to be a win-win whether I get the job or not, because if I'm going to be... If I get the job, I'm going to be away the whole summer. If I don't get the job, I'm going to be away for most of the summer. So it's just like, I can't like complain either way. I'm going to have a really good summer. One thing I will say I'm worried about though is that first weekend out of lockdown, right? Wait, let me just start doing my makeup and then I'll start talking because I'll just ramble on for days. One of the things I'm worried about is, now I don't want to be that person that says, oh my God, I've got so many friends. It's not even about how many friends I've got. It's I've got different groups of friends, like three different groups of friends in fact, more. Like, it's just so stressful. I can't. Anyway, I've got all my friends here. And then I've obviously got Charlotte and, like, Molly. They, like, obviously live in two different places. Basically, my point is, I'm worried of that first weekend. How do you choose where you go? How do you choose who you go out with? How do you pick? Because you know for a fact every single person you know is going to be out. I know for a fact every single person I would go out with is going to be out. And now I'm like, this has never happened before. Who do I say yes to? Who do I say no to? Who do I just, you know, or do I just go out by myself? Like, and just, if people want to come with me, they can come with me. <laughs> Basically, the last time I seen Molly was my birthday. And the last time I seen Charlotte was Zanti in September. My initial, not my initial thought, but one of my initial thoughts was I should be going to... Sheffield and you know Molly should become Sheffield or we should be going to Manchester whatever and we should be seeing each other because we've obviously not seen each other the longest but then I thought well I don't want to start planning stuff and then they come around and say oh no we're putting the restrictions on hold or whatever because the numbers are going up or do you know what I mean and then booking like a bus or a train and then having to cancel it and get like losing money you know what I mean? So, or if, say if that's the case and I end up having to stay home and I can go out here, right, who do I then say yeah to going out to? Because I've already been asked. So Charlotte's already asked me to come to Sheffield on the 20, 22nd. Like my friend Georgia, she's already said we're going out. I know for a fact that everyone else is going to be going out and I, pff, I just feel a bit like, ah, because I don't know what to do. My first obviously thought was go obviously see Charlotte and Molly because they're the furthest away but then I don't want to, like I said, be starting planning on stuff and then the restrictions change. So I feel like if that's going to be a thing it'll have to be last minute to see what where the restrictions and stuff are at. I'm just a bit confused at the minute and it's really stressing me out like trying to go out with everyone because I'm like, a, I'm not a people pleaser but I feel bad when I let someone down so like even if it's for myself, that makes sense. I've started to get better at it. Like I've started to just, if I don't want to go somewhere, I don't want to go somewhere, but it's not even, that's not even the case. I want to go out with everyone. I've never been in a situation before where I've had to pick between people. So honestly, I might just do what I said and go out by myself and then let people come to me. <laughs> this concealer is too dark. Why is my fake tan not doing anything? This, oh, for goodness sake, don't say it's going to be one of those days. I said to my mum, I said, watch me, it'll stress me out that much that I'll end up staying in. I'll go to the pub with her. Not that there's anything wrong with the pub in my mum life, but you know, not where I want to be on the 22nd. I've spent all this time with her. 
<laughs> I'm really excited for the summer and I have to realise that there's so many more dates in the summer that I can go out with people. This is literally the makeup I've been doing in lockdown though and this is literally the makeup I'm going to do when we're not in lockdown because it means I don't have to have loads of makeup on and it just makes me feel good like it's good it's a good amount of makeup like I just don't have foundation on. Oh my god you know I'm in such a good mood you don't even know. Happy Saturday by the way everyone. Obviously it's Saturday when I'm filming this, it'll be Sunday when you're watching it. Might take advantage of the sun and have a you know? <laughs> Honestly God, I'm in such a good mood. I've had a coffee this morning, right? Oh, update on my coffee situation. Not that there's anything that like I I haven't told you anything about my coffee situation to update you on. But um I've started having soya milk on my coffee. So I got soya milk before like ages and ages ago. And I couldn't remember if I liked it, but I keep drinking a lot of milk, like cow's milk. So I thought, this is really unhealthy. So I've changed it to soya milk and I'm drinking lots of water. I'm actually on a like, mm, like healthy eating thing. Um, and I weighed myself the other day for the first time since like April last year, right? And in April last year, somehow, somewhere, I actually couldn't tell you, apparently, I was 77.1 kilograms. Nothing wrong with that, but I've never been that. I've never been 77.1. Anyway, the other day I thought oh, I'll weigh myself so I can put it in my fitness pal so I know where I'm starting at. And uh, it weighed me as 68 point something, 68.3 or four. And I was like, what? And I know it's been nearly a year, right? And your body can change a whole lot in a year. And that's like, between then and now there's been like three lockdowns so if anything the lockdowns have done me great but yeah i just wanted to eat a bit healthier especially because i wasn't exercising because i just couldn't get into it so i thought you know honestly when i talk i go off in like six different directions one thing as well being in lockdown is blush like i've really gotten into wearing blush i never used to use blush on my makeup and i feel like it just makes it look so much more natural I actually love it. I'm not going to do anything too crazy to my eyebrows today, actually. I'm literally just going to fluff them up. Do you know what, as well? I'm not even going to put any, like, lip liner or anything on. I'm literally just going to put some lip balm on. What else have I got planned for the summer? Do you know what? I actually don't have any more anything else booked. But I do want to go and see my nana. I always... We went to see my nana last year. We were really worried that we weren't going to be able to go and see her. If you didn't know... Well, if you haven't seen the vlog, when we went to my nana's and surprised her. Wait, well, you know, when we turned up at the door and she went to town. Honest to God. We don't really get to see her like once a year, if we're lucky. It has been like once a year, I think. I don't think it's ever been longer than a year. I don't think anyway, not that I can remember. But yeah, I'm gonna go and see my Nana. What do I look like? No, I feel like I need a different, the eyebrows going a bit skew with, to be honest. Oh, I haven't put highlighter on. Oh my God, I knew I wasn't finished. Okay, so I had to redo my eyebrows and do them properly. This is what they turned out like. No, I'm joking. Um, I'm still finishing them off, but I feel like literally when you're doing your eyebrows, you've got to do, just get out of the way and do it properly because otherwise they just don't look good. Okay, I'm back. I've fixed the eyebrows. I know they're not to everyone's taste, but I actually love them today. Um, I feel like when I do my eyebrows like this, I feel like I need lashes on. But I can't be bothered to put lashes on. I mean, it'll only take two seconds because I've got a new glue. Let me show you. So I got the dual quick set because I needed new glue. Do you know what? The amount of time it takes me to decide whether I put my eyelashes on. I could have had my eyelashes on, so I'm just going to put them on. This is so difficult when I've got long nails on. It's hit the pace. Whoa! Oh, now it's going to be fucking dry. Oh, you taking the mic here or what? That dries so quick, like, oh my god, if you're going to do that, you need to be quick, like, what the hell? Yeah, that's just going to have to do, the eyelashes are just going to have to deal with it. Um, here's what it is. I mean, I might take some photos, I don't know. I really want to take some photos in the garden, because it's lovely weather. Um, but yeah, I'm going to end the video here. I hope you enjoyed this little chat about, you know, post-lockdown. Um, it's a good day, the sun's out, and let's have a good weekend. So, I hope you all enjoyed it. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, turn on the bell notifications, comment down below anything you want to see in the future, and I will see you in the next video.